Hello, hello everyone, Ellen Woodbridge here, independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator here on the central coast of New South Wales in Australia. I hope everyone had a good weekend. It's Tuesday here, but I know for a lot of my friends in North America um, and in Europe, it's only Monday. And I say only Monday because for me, that's a distant memory. A lot happened on Monday, but we are squarely on Tuesday. I've already had a bit of a busy morning and um, yeah, I'm here to play with you guys and share some um, cards from last month's classes. Hello, Miss Kay. Thank you for joining. Um, if you're watching on the replay, please make sure you say hello um, as you pop in and also make sure to give me a thumbs up and a subscribe and a like. Hey, Roz. Hey Trudy. Um, so then all the algorithms um, know that you like watching my videos and then you get notifications of when I go live and does help me uh, to be found by other people as well. And I do appreciate uh, that support. So today I have out a fair bit of stuff on my desk because I literally just dumped it and gathered almost everything together. So we're playing with the Cottage Rose stamp set. I was originally not getting this stamp set. I love the sentiments. I love the scripty font in the sentiments and the fact that um, it's a really good mix of sentiments. Um, so you've got birthday, best wishes, feel better, friends forever, you're positively the great greatest, it's going to be fab. That's a bit of a... That's a bit of an um, encouragement card. Hey, Karen, thanks for joining. Um, so I bought it for the sentiments, but we are using sentiment today. But we are using this beautiful rose. I think I did. I, I may have ended up getting the whole suite of this. Now, this is one of the new sets in our annual catalogue. Now, as a reminder, at the moment, our... Let me grab my hand, put my hand on it without pulling out my iPad. We do have the last chance list happening on our January to June mini catalogue. This catalogue ends at the end of this month on the 30th. So we have so many products 50% off at the moment. Um, I haven't checked this morning to see if anything has sold out so just let me do a quick check here to see if anything sold out discontinued nothing so everything that is retiring is still currently available i can't say how long that's going to uh, be a thing for because once it's sold out it's gone it's gone now just let me see I'm trying to get my computer to refresh here so i can see you guys when my phone's pointing down um the other thing we have happening and if i go this way our kit collection boxes they are buy one get one free uh, buy one get one 50 percent off and if you order on my online store um and you've got a link at the top here but if you um sorry just let me write that is fine um if you order on my online store the more expensive kit is your 50 percent off kit how exciting is that so normally your 50 percent off is your cheaper item but no 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 stamping up are giving us the more expensive item at 50 percent off hey margie hey megan thanks for joining Hold on one second. So sorry. Shouldn't be touching my phone. I touched my phone and I knocked it off. So sorry. I hope everyone's heads are okay. Um, Cheryl, who is quite often here, is having some internet issues at the moment. And she said to say hello to everyone and she cannot wait until she can get back on and interact with everyone. So um, she just wanted to me to give you guys a shout out and say that she misses you. Um, what else are we playing with today? We are playing with perfectly penciled paper hey jenny 
and that isn't going to go back where I wanted it to. Yes, it is. And we've got blending brushes. So our colouring is all going to be done with blending brushes today. So that will be a bit of fun. Now let's have a look at the card that we're doing. Now I do have some of these elements already done. Because this is card I made in class and with my team so we're assembling a couple of cards finishing a couple of cards but i guarantee you i will show you all the elements um it will just be a bit put together and i do have a piece of vellum in the background there uh, using my favorite stylish shaped stars i think they're taking over as i drop the card on the floor i think they are taking over from stitch rectangles don't tell, don't tell stitch rectangles that they're taking over but they're taking over okay now let's flip around and go through my card kits and we can work out where we're at and what we're doing and i can show you how i'm going to make these cards with you so as you're coming in don't forget to tell me how your weekend was Mine was a busy one. I finally got the house uh, back together. Hey, Miss. I did it again. Now, what have I done here today? Now, is that going to be right? Yes, it is. Hey, Miss. Hey, Marjean. Hey, Darlene. Hey, Jenny. There we go. Right, just making sure I haven't missed anybody. Um, yes, I finally put the house back together after painting. All we've got left to do is to hang pictures, which is exciting. But I need to get some framing done. Um, in the cleanup, I have found some things that I want framed. So I um and I want to change a matting in a frame and a couple of other things. So I've got to work all that out first. Now let's see if I can get this back up because my replay didn't want to play nicely. There we go. That looks great. I'm going to turn off my overhead light and we'll get going. Louisa, Missy, you coming in or are you staying out there? She looks very comfy on her bed just outside my craft room door. So I think we might be able to do a bit of a zoom in today. Let's let's see. Hey, Kathy. Okay, I think we're good. I think, I think, if we just stay at the bottom end, I think we're all good today. Right, it's so cold here today. Um, I'm wearing a cardigan with a longer sleeve shirt. have been out and about to dentist visits this morning. Not me, I'm um, next week, but you know, we're slowly slowly getting everyone just trying to get this on screen so you can see what we're doing so this uh, the die sets we won't be using them on screen but i have used them to cut elements is the cottage flowers dies and this uh, bundles with the stamp set or you can buy them separately but just if you do get it in a bundle you do save 10 percent and as I was saying before, my favourite stylish shapes dies. So you get two, four, six circles, you get five squares, and you get your four banners. So these are amazing. And my comments don't look like they want to auto refresh today. First time I could tell the light off made a difference. Ah, see, it depends on when you join, I think, Darlene. Um, yeah. But, yeah, you get shadows uh, with my overhead light on. 
but if I have the overhead light off um, I do not have those shadows okay so card kit number one what do we have here so I'm just going to pop that piece of plastic I do reuse all of those so I have one card base I have one flower which needs coloring so I can definitely show you that I have the perfectly penciled paper that I have used blending brushes on I have my square piece of vellum and I have my banner piece ready to stamp so let's see what we've got in this one I may have colored all the background pieces so I've got another background piece and I've got that banner already done and I've got oh I've got extra card bases I only need two no three I need three okay so this one can go away in my petal pink up there get ourselves all sorted I do have another sentiment to stamp. I have my three vellum squares. I have a coloured flower that I can pop on there. Do you want me to show you how I colour the designer series paper? Because I can grab a piece and show you and then I can use that for something else. So just tell me in the comments if you'd like me to show you that. And then I've got my two jigs for stamping. I'm just going to pop them there. Hello, Miss Linda. How are you? Right. So I've got these. I've got this. I've got the card, the stamp set. I think we're pretty much ready to rock. What I might start with is the stamping before you tell me about um, if you would like me to show you this blending on the back. Okay, so I have already lined up my two stamps on two sides of my Stamparatus plate. I'm just going to pop the card out of the way. I need the space now these are I love using a stamp set so I have this plate nice and flat and it makes it much easier to evenly ink up because these are red rubber stamps I don't need my deluxe matte insert but we will start with the flower I already have this jig and I have marked the corner where I need that to go so that is nice and butt up in there I've then cut blanks of the die that goes with this stamp and all I do is I just pop it in like a puzzle piece and I'm going to use stays on and I found one of my team members stays on is making her if I take the plastic covering off that is going to be helpful it makes her sneeze now this will clean up really really nicely with stays on cleaner and I'll show you the stays on cleaner which we sell um, and it cleans our red rubber stamps like a dream I'm less likely to use it on our photopolymer stamps because it can eat away the stamped the stamp surface and if I do use it I use it and I thoroughly wash it off straight away hello miss Leslie how are you okay no I just need to put a little pressure hmm. It looks very black, but I think I didn't ink that area up. So let's ink that area up. Make sure this is in perfectly, which it is. Done. So 
I have two of my flowers and we'll colour those in together. Yes, I'm cold too. I think it's a top of 17 today. Beautiful in the sun. And I mean beautiful. It really, really is lovely in the sun. But geez, the wind. The wind, the wind. The ski season has definitely started. I'm just going to bring that stamp set down. Uh, because this won't work with that stamp. There. Oh, and you know what I realised? I was a little off screen. How rude of me. Okay, so to make the jig, if you ever wondered, I pop the stamp in Stamp Artist, grab a piece of paper, I stamp it, then I die cut, and I never move this stamp. So then I keep the original piece. I pop a little mark in the corner that it goes in and then I just need to pop the piece in which would be a good idea about now if I did that. So I just pop this piece in like a puzzle piece, close this over, try again. I can always stamp this a second time. The best is not looking quite as bold as I would like it. So because we're using the Stamparatus, I can definitely give that a second, second go. And that is perfect. Stamped in the exact correct space. And I will show you that again. Again, and then I have all my pieces stamped and ready to go and I will after I've stamped this I'll grab out the stays on cleaner now the second one the best worked out really well but the wishes is a bit how you going so I've just put extra ink on the wishes Stamp that down and that is now perfect. Now if you can hear some banging out there, I think it's the builders next door. I have no idea. Ooh, yeah, the wind is awful. It is awful. So I've just flipped that around so when I pop it down I'm not getting ink everywhere. We'll need those scissors anyway. Let me grab this stays on cleaner. So it just comes in a little bottle. Let me undo this. I've had this stays on cleaner forever. Now, <laughs> I don't know if this is showing my age or it shows my grandmother's age. This reminds me of a housey dauber, a bingo dauber. Because um, you've just got the foam on the top. So I can show you what you do is you literally daub it on to the stamp and I'm hoping you can see this liquid coming out. You can see this has now gone really quite black. Now because this has had ink on it numerous times and I haven't cleaned it, you may need a bit more going over. So I would then use this in my Stamparatus. I'm in my Stamparatus. I'm we're in my um, stamp and scrub. But because I haven't got the luxury of having it on a block, I'm just going to grab a baby wipe. And trust me, that ink on there was totally and utterly dry. That ink wasn't going anywhere. So I've grabbed a baby wipe and I'm literally going to fold it in half and I'm just, you're going, you can see already how much ink this lifts. So that is pretty much clean. Now I haven't scrubbed this. I am literally just 
patting it off. And you can see the magic of the stays on cleaner. So if you buy stays on ink, definitely buy the stays on cleaner. It is a must. So you can see how beautifully clean that is. And once I put in the stamp and scrubbing, it'll be just as if I bought it. So I'm going to put this to the side now. Because I don't need that. I don't need the stays on. So let's... Do I have a big enough piece? I don't know if I've got a big scrap of our pen they're all my scraps of the perfectly penciled i'm not sure i actually have a scrap to show you um, do you know what i might do i'm just going to show you how i did this but i'm actually going to do it in a different color so i'm kind of feeling a different color so we can imagine that we did this in the green so i used okay let me just pop that back where it belongs and i'll grab it out when i need it so um for this i actually used uh soft sea foam but there are a number of layers of soft sea foam so it isn't quite as dark. I did do a lighter one that I will show you. So I'm just cutting this down to be a card front. And then this will end up going on another card. But I'll just show you the process of what I did. Okay, let me grab a scrappy scrap piece of paper. I'm going to grab my petal pink now this is incredibly faded but trust me this is petal pink hello miss maria how are you okay and i have my pink blending brush and i'm just going to take a whole lot of ink here and i'm just going to come in lightly so I'm not going very heavily and I just come in from each corner. So I'm just adding colour to the background here. So I've just come in from each corner. And as you get less ink on the brush, the heavier I actually go I generally don't go terribly heavy at the start because you want to build the color up in layers because you can always add color but you can't always you can't take color away not with this kind of technique anyway so I just want to add a little more I did go a little heavy-handed here at the bottom so just want to add some fading out color here and if I really want to I can just use the other corners and areas to get rid of the ink and I have no ink left on this I do have a feeling I'm going to need to re-ink this pad so I'll show you this is a lighter version that I did and this is a darker version so you can do it however you want so this is just the leaf pattern out of the perfectly penciled and this one that I will put back in my pack here I've just used these beautiful I know they kind of remind me of a of a um, frilly tulip but someone out there is going to tell me what flower this is so I've showed you that technique we're going to pop that aside but now i'm going to show you how i used these big buffy blending brushes to do this precise coloring so i'm going to bring in my petal pink again and rather than using the whole surface 
which we just did for the background and bring this down so you can see this name of the set so we used the whole surface to color the background piece I'm just going to use this top quarter okay so just I'm going to show you I angle it up and I just get this top quarter and I can see it's wet and I just start in the middle now I'm using a really really light hand I'm barely touching it and then I'm just coming out and I am still holding it on the angle and I just come out so you can see already I do have a great first layer of color again and I do tap the excess off start in the middle because I do want it darker in the middle now out here there wasn't a lot of color I'm just going to go delicately to the edges here and just concentrate that color in the middle now you can go as dark or as light as you want um, I think maybe just one more layer for me come out to the places where I want to add a bit more color and I think I'm done okay so that is that layer done if you want just rub off any extra ink it was a good thing my scissors actually I needed to take them out close this over so I used the soft sea foam on the base for the leaves though I'm going to use pear pizzazz so that is our next color hello Corinne welcome welcome okay so oh I've got another flower to do can we backtrack a second I've got two to do Ellen let's backtrack okay open this up again and just pop this off to the side a bit yeah I probably started a little more heavy handed because I've done this numerous times and because I've used this ink already a couple of times today I know it needs re-inking and it's not very juicy so I've pretty much almost got my desired effect in one layer and the second layer is just to add a bit more color but I'm really happy with that you can go as dark or as light as you want okay I'm really finished with this now and now just like magic here's the papers as one sorry girls and guys I just need to have a drink and I'm going to grab my green blending brush now I generally have one blending brush per color i do have a light pink and a dark dark pink one though um it just works easier okay so just these ones are a little bit different i'm just trying to go lightly and just go to the edge so this is going to need a few more layers of color because I really don't want this green going into the flower. Now I did go way too heavy handed in that spot but that's okay. I'm just now with whatever ink's left 
going to blend that out. So I'm pretty happy with that. Let's go take two and see how we go. So you're going lightly, lightly, just laying the color down. I always just take off that first layer of ink just because that seems to be the layer that I always get the indentation of the brushes of. Okay, I'm pretty good. Pretty good. That is all of our green done. So that was Pear Pizzazz. Now for our, our secondary flower, it kind of reminds me of wattle. And I have used so saffron. Now, speaking of wattle, there is a new stamp set coming out that has wattle. And if everything goes to plan, I am getting a delivery of brand new product a bit later this afternoon. So, I plan on doing an unboxing later today, maybe this evening, just depends on how things go. Um... I plan on doing that over on YouTube so do make sure you are subscribed over there last night's post I um, gave a bit of a gave a bit of a shout out for my YouTube channel um, because I had a look and I was gobsmacked I have over 500 videos there 500 so there's lots of tips, lots of tricks, unboxing, challenges, so, so, so much is there ready for you to take on. So you can just see, I'm just building up this yellow. I don't have to, oh, I got a bit of that yellow in there, but it doesn't matter. Okay, so they are our flowers all coloured in. So that is all the colouring. So just because our blending brushes have this large surface area doesn't mean we need to use the whole surface area. So I've just used this top quarter for that more intricate um, colouring in. So it just gives them a bit more use. Has anyone ever coloured like that before? Please tell me in the comments. So I would love to know. So we are up to assembly. So we have three cards to assemble. Okay, sleeves up. Going to start by folding our card bases just so they are ready to rock and roll. Be good if I could everything else falls out at the same time okay bone folder yay okay one two if you can hear grinding and that in the background david's making a coffee he was up at like quarter to three this morning for the Apple keynote and he started work at that time and has done radio and podcast recordings and all manner of things since then because he's a crazy, crazy man and he does it for every keynote. So I think he's going to have a coffee and go to sleep, which I know seems a little redundant, but... I think that's what it will do okay so because our vellum stylo shapes square just gives the perfect 
landing place for our flower so it just creates a layer so the flower isn't hanging in midair it's grounded and I've put this square on a diamond so just to give a bit of visual interest because I know our flower is going in the middle I am just using our stamp and seal sorry concentrating and you can actually see the adhesive through vellum which is why I always cover up adhesive um, in spots where it's not going to show so I'm just really adding it to the middle popping it whoop, hello popping it on the angle now this has a little tear in it I don't know why but that tear should be covered up so I should be able to cover that up that is all good um, am I only making two or three where's my third piece guess what guys we are actually using this piece and I've changed the colouring. So let's see how it looks with this colouring. There you go. Yes, vellum cardstock, Sunny. How are you today? Um, yes, Stampin' Up! only sells one weight of vellum and it is the cardstock weight. And it's beautiful. I've always very much loved the Stampin' Up! vellum and yes definitely cardstock not vellum paper okay so we're going to see how this looks with this change of colour but that's okay so let's get some dimensionals not double something is going on here everything's going to jump out and be featured on the video I don't need my tearing tape I just need my dimensionals here we go One, two, right um this this is what I need just moving my magnet because I could see it falling on the floor and shattering because I may have already shattered one and I kind of sort of don't want to do that again if I can help it so I really just want to pop some support behind these leaves and that in the middle that will do okay why is stuff going missing on me here? I had three of these. Can someone tell me where it went? Oh, it's stuck on the back. Radio. Didn't think I was quite going bonkers yet. I'm a little young for that, but never say never, hey? boyfriend is playing Aladdin Ooh. popping in during your lunch break tidying the house yes no it isn't a long time no see I may have got a hug from you on the weekend Jamie and that was very exciting and the other surprise visitor our friend Miss Renee was a lovely lovely surprise as well so we're just making this card, Jamie. Card I made in a recent class. So is it a school production of Aladdin, um, Jamie? Or is it, are they doing it at the art house? Or is it at the school? I need to ask all the questions. Because Jamie lives about 20 minutes from me. School play. Yes, it was. 
it was we will i will have to make it a longer visit at some stage absolutely okay and my rubbish bin which is really a coaster holder but it works so well for a rubbish bin because nothing sticks in it because it's silicon i love that we sell logo products so miss jamie what i was actually doing with this i was using the big blending brush but i was showing how to use just the tip of it to do some precision coloring so i've been a bit crafty this morning in or this afternoon in showing a few different things yes i love it too stanley cup Ah, Stanley Cup. Tell me, is Stanley Cup ice hockey? Sunny? Oh, I'm trying to flex my sport knowledge, and I am good with sport knowledge, but I'm just trying to work out Stanley Cup. It's familiar, but I'm trying to work it out. So... I will await that so I don't need and this is crooked I swear let me see if I can pull this up and then just think that's better okay trim off the excess waiting for Sunny's response okay so that is that ready to go on the card base take my next one i've already got my vellum i've already got this i'm a little bit ahead of myself for these ones now i've even already got a project ready to go up here on facebook to show you tonight the color challenge um, for this month the su color challenge my project is going up today so it's already up on the challenge it went up at midday and um, I can I'll share with you guys later tonight oh that's got marks on it from the stays on cleaner oh it is so oh yes it is your favorite sport Junior hockey too. Oh yes. Tell me who's playing. Because a friend of mine is no. No. Wrong sport, don't worry. But we do have a nice hockey rink locally. A bit more local for me than to Jamie, but it's not too far away. Oh, you posted yours today, Corinne. I will have to go over and have a look at your color challenge for this month it was it was an interesting um picture to draw from maybe not so much i kind of want to create a bit of a connection here between the flower and the sentiment just by tucking this under and we're just going to live ah right yes that's right you are in canada aren't you sunny right that's now a little too high i think that's right if not close enough is good enough oh would well, you know what you can always pop your photo up even if you miss the month still put it up because we'd love to see it and i'm feeling as though i need another okay so i'm just going to maybe that's not where i wanted it but that serves the purpose and one more to go and then we're sticking them on card bases and we're going to try and find the iridescent pearls not just the normal pearls the iridescent ones 
and add a few of those to finish our project so because they are so pretty the iridescent ones just add that little lift and shine okay and one I more of these well lucky we didn't want it oh I've got a bit of bling oh they're so nice Jamie I'll share them before I put them on okay these ones aren't so close together but it made it so easy to stamp to have the whole banner and then that way um, people could have these banners however they wished on their card okay that's a little close but I'm pretty happy with it sorry girls I did pull it off screen for a split second there turn it over cut off the excess that is a little close and crooked but you know these things happen that'll do that will do that will do and scissors disengage and this is why I generally don't use my little scissors because I seem to get a straighter better cut with my big long handled scissors don't need those I don't know where their friends went now let's glue these on and we will grab out the iridescent pearls who already has the iridescent pearls it does doesn't it i loved that using the so saffron jamie um it was i love yellow and orange as a bit of a pop color at the best of times and this just worked really really well so the two greens the two pinks the two yellows just in different percentages so I do generally like to use more than one hit of color do you know what I'm really looking forward to seeing American Ninja Warrior the new season started today in the US so I'm oh my dear word right this is not cut correctly right we're having it top and bottom so there will be no side it'll just be top and bottom and I will by the looks of it have two oh no that's perfect oh that was a good save See, we can even do it in different styles. Okay, and our last one, which in my opinion has way too much pink in the petal pink, but it does allow the other colours to pop. Thought we'd try something a little different. Oh, Marjean, Marjean, do not spoil it. I love it. I have watched the show for so many years. I love it. I was actually watching on YouTube and apparently Matt gave Akbar a mustard isopole. And um, yeah, it was pretty funny. I, th I don't know if it was on Matt's Instagram. These are the two hosts. I don't know whether it was on Matt's Instagram or Akbar's, but it was pretty, pretty funny. Yes, thank you for not spoiling it. I do appreciate it. Ten. Wow. Oh, yes, it is fun watching progression. Absolutely. Okay. Now, where are these? No one heard that, did they? 
no one heard a thing. Okay, so you can see how many of these we've already used. So let me see if I can catch this iridescence. Uh, I think I can catch the iridescence. But they're not plain. They definitely have, you can just see it. In real life, gorgeous. Just a bit hard to capture on video. So, let's get sticking and plonking. Um, just going to put a couple here. And like one here. And I think I'm going to have to add a glue dot under this one I'll show you oh no don't like that there time to move time to move okay I'll show you why embellishments are sometimes just needed so you can see this is a bit flippy flappy and I don't want it to be flippy flappy hey David did you have something in the oven oh, okay cool so the glue dot I'm just going to fold it up to make it smaller and I'm just going to slide it under and that is going to tie down sorry it did just roll out a little bit and that is just going to tie down that flappy flap bit. Okay, I may need to do it again, so I will be extra careful with the pointy end. And just one here. So I've got the kind of like two up there so I've got that one and one more really you can use these however you want and you do have your small medium and large iridescent pearls I think I'm going to have to buy another pack you know So I've put it down lower here, so I think I'm just going to, hmm. that's better, and I'm going to do another glue dot. I, I did, showing my age, I loved Mighty Ducks the movie as a kid and I was kind of over in America when Mighty Ducks was still a thing and um, it showed, well, it's on top of the pearl so it shows through as like a mirror effect um just going to see if I can show you this last one. I don't know. Hang on. Let me get a pack of normal pearls. Just because I can see them. And I'm going to get them next to each other. And I think that's going to demonstrate the fact. And the difference between them. Normal pearls. Oh, jeez. Oh, there is just like that oil slick look. These are very matte and pearlish. I don't know how to describe it. Yes, there's kind of the angle. You can see there's more of a sheen on this than this. Um, it's kind of the only way I can 
describe it. Yeah, My Dear Ducks was a great movie. And I was kind of in America at that, like, 13-year-old age. It was a great movie. I think I watched all the sequels, too. So we didn't use the normal pearls today. We did definitely use the iridescent pearls. So now I've got everything everywhere. I think I am going to zoom out a little bit. Oh, what happens if I colour them with blends? Ah, I don't know. I don't, I can't answer that one. Um, I think you'll still see the iridescence through them. I don't think that will be an issue at all. Um, let me, I think, I think it's so saffron one would be nice. Let's give it a go for you, Sunny. Just going to do one of these little ones. You do still see the iridescence. And it's yellow. So it actually doesn't make a brass rose of a difference. It's like colouring the other ones. It's just it's yellow. Can you see it? Let's try it. Yep, yeah, there you go. So it's just yellow. So there you go. Thank you, Kay. Thank you, Miss Susan. Lovely to see you here. Overtime. Awesome. I'm caught up. If anyone has any questions, now is the time to ask while I'm just setting up all the things I have used. Oh, I'm looking for the, the dies that I used and they're right in front of my face. Right in front. Now, I thought these would be a lot quicker to make than what they were but I think we had a bit of a rabbit on today so we use the cottage flowers dies and the stylish shapes which I love both of them and this is the card that we came up with I'll show you both versions because I have kind of a lighter and a darker version Maybe I'm running out of room. Okay. So that is a look at what we did today. I will be popping a shop link up very soon after I finish this video um, for you all to be able to go and shop. Um, don't forget, I will be doing an unboxing in the next before I go to bed tonight. Thank you, Colleen. I do rather like them myself. Um, I will be doing an unboxing over on YouTube, so make sure you're subscribed over there and hit the bell so you get notifications of when, when I go live. Um, we have our up to 50% off saving for our January to June mini, and we have our buy one, get one 50% off for our kit collection kits at the moment so a great time to stock up for Christmas for the school holidays um, for the school holidays and just to go crafting with a friend um do you mean an American standard size card Sunny because I do happen to have one just over here so whatever the cardstock you're using whether it's letter size or whether it is a four size you still use half a sheet okay cool Sunny I happen to get a return to sender card and this is an old kit card so I can show you okay um, so this is half of your letter size so that's half of your letter size this is half of an A4 so let's pop them together so you are a little 
Hmm. It's a, we're a little taller, you're a little wider. So that's what it looks like in half, but when you fold the card, and it is the standard, you guys are a little wider and we're a little taller. So there is a difference, but there isn't a difference, if that makes sense. That's okay, that's okay, Jamie, don't stress. There's always a replay. So that is the difference between an A4 card and a letter size card. Now we still call this an A2 card. But it's just A2 of a letter size. A3 is half of an A4. No, A3 is double. <coughs> but A2 is half. Yeah, <laughs> must be a little shorter and wider. Yes, yes, Jamie. Yes, we shall not laugh. But yes, th thank you for that question, Sunny. I do forget to preface that often, but it is important um, to share. That's why I don't ever share dimensions because I have a wide range of people that watch me. Um, so adding dimensions is often problematic. I should add in a couple of these because I did use these as well today. Um, but yeah, dimensions are problematic because of our different card sizes. So that's why I normally say a card base, a card front. Our dies are exactly the same for all markets around the world. So that is never an issue. It's just the sizings that we use. Thank you, Miss Jamie. Thank you, thank you. Okay, I'm going to go. Need to do some things. Need to go out to the chemist slash drugstore for all of you in North America. I will be watching American Ninja Warrior Margine, so we can talk about it next week, or maybe we can talk about it on Thursday. And I hope the overtime in the Stanley Cup goes well. So everyone have a great day. And I will see you tonight, or sometime this afternoon for an unboxing, and then a normal card making video both over on YouTube. So I will see you guys soon. Have a great one. Bye.